Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice balmy 50 degrees out this morning. I'll take that for a little while. It's gonna warm up and get into the high 70s today. It's gonna feel nice. But oh, they got that bank, you probably can't tell on the video, but they got that bank tapered nicely. It's the one thing with goats, you can't let your camera down or they'll knock it over and chew on it. You go, have some alfalfa pellets. No, you can't eat out of the bucket there, Blossom. Morning, Buttercup. You in a good mood this morning, Willow? Hope. I don't think you can squeeze through that rung. That one's really tight. Yesterday we started on the overhead door on the barn. We got the door up and the track up system up. Now we need to secure the track system. And I gotta do the torsion bar. I've never done one of those before, so. Today could be an interesting day. A lot of modern setters have been asking, what are we doing with the old goat barn? We got some new critters coming in about two weeks that are gonna be going in the old goat barn. So we need to get the new barn finished up so we can get the goats over there. We're gonna to have to use some temporary fencing over at the new barn at first. And then we got some pretty cool things happening with that too over there. So it's gonna be a busy, exciting summer. Thank you, Willow. You little ones ready to come out? Said, yep. Here comes Blossom. Right in the feeder where you're not supposed to go, huh? Oh. Morning Figaro, you checking out the process of the barn build? Does it pass your inspection? Huh, does that pass your inspection? Does it pass? You guys ready to go feed the chickens? See old CWC waiting over here for us. And it looks like we have a well summer that escaped. Morning, ladies. Uh, go over here, scratching up all this moss. Gives me thatching it. Then we can plant more grass. A lot of moss over here. I'm really liking the look of the tan door. That looks nice. Went to the post office yesterday, and one of you modern steaders, Barry, thank you, Barry, sent us up a work apron. Yesterday we had to stop because the garage door kit doesn't come with this. The erector set metal, which is right here. So we had to run out and go pick that up. That, and I got a bunch of 516s nuts and bolts we'll need that for putting together the erector set metal so we need this rail to be an inch higher in the back than the front so let's do this for a second if i bring that down about an inch right there that's where we're going to need to be so that being said this angle bracket right here, if that's snug all the way up against this wall and tightened up, that brings us to the right angle. All right, I want to know how far off of the four x four beam this bracket is. So 36 and seven eighths. So for now, I'm going to eyeball this just so I have a rough idea. So it's gonna to need to come in 36 and 7 8 right about there. This is all guesstimation for a little bit. And then 20. 
or we'll cut one at 24 and one at 20. Let's do that. I believe I left the pencil out here. We did. Let's get some sparks flying. that started so now we want to be 36 we got to come over quite a bit eh, not too bad let me mark it right here go 14 and a half that'll be good let's go grab one at 14 and a half I wish I had a magnetic one of these torpedo levels. As long as nothing moves, we're in the right spot. It's nice and level. One more lag right there. Boom. Boom. This side should go a lot quicker because now we know we can cut one at 24, 20, and 14 and a half. I like it. Let's get this up in place. How long is this piece? That'd be nice if we could use this one for the 14 and a half. Do, 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 do. It might work. We'll try it. I bet we can get that to work. 24. Put us there. So let's go right here. And then 20.
get a measurement for this one. It's gonna be 36 and three eighths. We are, yeah, that's good right there. There and there. Tighten everything up now. To the next phase. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So we need to do the torsion extension springs. So we're gonna need this up here for now. Not those. Not those. So we're gonna need this one. And then put this stuff up here. That's our lock system. We don't need that yet. So we got our bearing plates. We we'll need those. And then this is our bolt kit. One. Two. Take now this up. chalk line we got to snap a line from the top of that plate to the top of that plate and then we can get this one up we need the top of this to be three quarters of an inch above our chalk line let's do this like so Center of the door is right here. Okay, easiest way to do this is going to be mark three quarters of an inch up here in place. All right, our torsion spring only comes with one spring and it's a red spring. Red springs go on the left hand side. We got a red drum. Got a black drum. Let's slide this like so. This is going to come way over here, All right, way over here. All right, now let's do this. That works. Keep going. Okay. There we go. Should we get our nylon 
in there like so. This like that. I want to leave the tag on if I can. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Nope. I'm not getting rid of the tag though. This is what I'm going to do. This tag gives me a lot of information about this spring. So we're going to leave it here. It tells me the size. It's a 9 by 8 door. I need to turn it eight and a half times to load the spring. That's the most important part. So let's keep that there. Let's do that, okay. Boom, boom, it's tightened. set our drums over tight to our baron. I want to lock my door in position so it can't move. We don't have any locks on the door. So this will be our lock. All right, I'm gonna need a cable now. Here. So our cable is going to go down here. snug that's nice and snug there now we need to tighten these up one and a half turns after we hit the pipe so that's tight Not sure if you can see it enough. It's a little finger down here in a bottom bracket that we installed yesterday. I need to get this loop on. There we go. That's on there. Now let's bring this up. Push this wire up. I just went and grabbed a square socket so it does plugs. Amazon and I picked up some garage door winding bars. I'll leave a link in the description down below. I think they're like 12 bucks. It's one of those things. I figured we might as well have the right tool for that price than not. We need to wind this eight and a quarter turns. That's eight and a half turns. So I had a chart inside that I took a picture of. So eight and a half Full turns is gonna be 34 quarter turns. To go 34 winds, so one, two, three, 
four, five. Got my door locked there and over there with a pair of vice grips. I need to take these vice grips off. There we go. And then we need to just slowly let this go. All right, so our spring loaded this cable on both sides. Now we can unlock our door and see if we have, we're trying to balance the weight of the door onto the spring. So the spring is gonna help us or assist us lift up the door so we don't have the weight of the door on us. So we don't want it going up on its own, so that's good. I like that. Now we can trim it out on the outside. <laughs> so because I raised the bottom of our six by six sills up an inch and a half, we have a gap on top of the garage door. So we're gonna cut a two by four to fill that gap in. Two of those at 95 and three quarter. Let's go. Nice, we got a nice and tight gap. Sweet. Is that your new favorite job feeding the pigs? Yeah. Look, pork's waiting for you. He says you're 10 minutes late. I've been waiting. Figaro. and some water. Buttercup, what are you doing? Hanging off by yourself. Figaro, what are you doing? Figaro. There you go. There you go. 
What are you doing? Are you hot? Are you hot? You guys enjoying those apple tree branches still? Just gotta move them around on you every once in a while. You wanna pick some apples for the pigs? Yeah. Can you get it now? Yeah. How about if I do this? Can you get any now? There you go. Earlier, I threw them from all the way up there and I actually made them some pegs. And you did? Yeah. I'm gonna try to show them. Sometimes it wasn't today. Nope, I didn't make it. What are you up to, CWC? You gonna go see if the pigs saved Jenny Grain? No, they're over there fighting, fighting against each other for Jenny Grain. So I guess they didn't. Yeah. Where'd it go? Oh, Jenna, get the chicken! There's a couple of chickens out today. How many do you think? 18. I think it's going to be a light day today. Yeah. Yep. Fourteen, and this one's got a crack in it. So I was four off, though. So, so that can go to the chickens. We are going to be all zucchini dough. We got lots of. All the time. No, I don't have a lot, but. We're going to all summer. Because we have some, so that's what we're going to eat every night. That's right. yesterday then I left them on the counter and I thought they must need to go in the refrigerator so should I left them on the counter or should I store them in the fridge what do you guys do I just wanted to last the longest be the freshest they can be Everybody likes some goat's milk. Yes, please. 
if I have a choice, then I just have it in the wide note that I had last night. Well, that was the first time I've installed the garage door. It went well. It took a little bit longer than I hoped it would, but it was nice that once it was all said and done, it worked. It really would have been frustrating if there was something wrong. I'm sure you guys know how that goes when you have a project that you're never done before and you're trying to figure it out and it doesn't go as good as you hoped it would but in the end it's all said and done which is good and then I was reading a quote today and it kinda went along with how I was feeling being defeated is often a temporary condition giving up is what makes it permanent man that is so true we just need to persevere and push through whatever we're, whatever we're doing but we also need to stop and I know I do I need to stop take a breath take a look back and go hey it's gonna be all right don't need to know everything the first time I can take my time and figure it out and usually that makes it go so much smoother or to the end if I tell myself that I'll look back and I'll laugh at myself and go yeah you got all worked up for nothing <laughs> uh, thanks for coming along on this journey with us guys you're a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom